Okay, today we're going to talk about arteries and veins. Remember, arteries always carry blood away from the heart. Veins always carry blood toward the heart. You've got a chart in your lab guide that kind of lists all the ones that you're going to be responsible for, so I'm just going to go down that chart and we'll get to know them all. All right, the first vessel listed on the artery side here is the aorta. The aorta is this large vessel that comes up from the left ventricle and it goes up and it makes an arch like this. So this is your ascending aorta going up and then it becomes your descending aorta as it goes down the arch. You can also call it the thoracic aorta. So if this was in the thoracic cavity, it would be the thoracic aorta. But then as it comes down through the abdomen, this large vessel right here, it would be called the abdominal aorta. Aorta. So any of those terms are uh, applicable to use. Um, you also have what we call coronary arteries, and we're going to talk about those separately on a different video with the heart, so we're not going to get into any of the coronary uh, vessels. Um, so let's just start looking at what we have here. So you've got the aorta, and it makes this arch, and the first vessel here coming off the aorta is going to be known as the brachiocephalic artery. You don't have to say right or left brachiocephalic artery because there's only one brachiocephalic artery. Now it's named brachiocephalic because this, this cephalic part means head and brachial means your upper arm here. So you've got one branch here that goes over, that's called the uh, right subclavian artery that's going towards your brachium or your arm. And then this other branch coming up here is gonna be your uh, right common carotid artery because it's going up to your head. So you have the brachiocephalic artery, and then you have the right uh, subclavian artery, and then the right common carotid artery that goes up to your head. Then this next vessel you get is going straight up to your head, so that's going to be the left common carotid artery. And then this vessel here that comes up and turns, goes like that, that's going to be your left subclavian artery. Um, so that's all coming off the aorta right there on top of that aortic arch. All right, then um, it's easy to follow the vessels. If you know your body parts, you can kind of figure them out. So like on this model right here, um, you've got your aorta coming up here, and then you've got your three branches. You've got the subclavian, I mean, excuse me, the brachiocephalic artery, which goes into the right subclavian artery, the right common carotid artery, then you've got the left common carotid artery going up, and then you've got the left subclavian artery, that red one going that way. As they move down your body parts, you just change the name. So um, if you look on this model right here, you've got the red vessel here. That's your subclavian artery on the right side, so that's your right subclavian artery. When it gets over here towards the armpit, that is known as the right ax axillary artery. Then when it gets down into your upper arm here, that's your brachium, so that would be your right brachial artery. And then the right brachial artery is going to split. And you remember when you're learning body parts, you've got the radial bone that goes this way. And you remember that because R makes the radius. And you have the ulnar bone. And uh, all mean uh, U for under. So you're, you start, you go subclavian, axillary, brachial, and then it splits into radial artery and ulnar artery. And we're not going to learn any of the palmar arteries or the digital arteries or anything like that. So um, when you're tracing blood, just make sure you know that the radial artery goes towards the thumb, the ulnar artery goes toward your pinky. Um, you can see these vessels on this arm here. You've got under the armpit here, you would call that your axillary artery. Then in the upper arm here, that would be your brachial artery. And then it's going to split and you're going to have one artery right there, you see the red one? That's going to the thumb, so that's going to be your radial artery. And then you'd have another one that's uh, not really showing well there, but it goes to the, uh, the that, that would be your ulnar artery going down here to your pinky. So that's all the vessels you need to know in your um, upper arm and uh, up here in your shoulder area for the arteries. All right, then let's see what's next here. Um, then we get down into the abdomen, and as I said, that um, aorta goes up, it makes an arch, and then it curves back down around, and it goes right down the center of your backbone there. So in the, in the posterior part of your abdominal cavity, this is going to be your abdominal aorta. And there's several vessels that come off the abdominal aorta that you're going to need to know. This first group right here, and if you can kind of zoom in on that, um, this first group right here, 
there's three of them coming off of that. That's known as your celiac trunk. And the way it's listed in your lab guide, it doesn't really make it clear, but your, your, your celiac artery or your celiac trunk there, these, this group of three, actually breaks up into the next three art, uh, arteries listed in your book. So the celiac artery or celiac trunk, and I'm going to show it to you on this model right here. Um, it, well, it doesn't really show it. Never mind. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> the celiac artery or the celiac trunk, it goes into three vessels. You've got the uh, gastric artery, which goes over to your stomach. Your stomach would be sitting right here. So one of those is going to be the gastric artery. Then you've got one that goes down and goes to your spleen right there. So that would be your splenic artery. And then you have another one that comes up here to where your liver would be sitting. So that's your hepatic artery. So the first bump here on your abdominal aorta is the celiac trunk, and it breaks up into the gastric, splenic, and hepatic arteries. Okay? Then this next big artery here is going to be your superior mesenteric artery. That's going to go out and uh, feed all of your intestines. And then you've also got coming up right around there, you've got a red artery here going out to each kidney. So that's going to be your renal arteries. And then as you go further down, you're going to get another bump right here. That's going to be your inferior mesenteric artery, which is also going to uh, serve your lower uh, colon and those vessels or those organs down here. So you've got celiac trunk, which breaks off into the gastric, splenic, and hepatic artery. Then you've got superior mesenteric artery, which goes to your small intestines mainly. Then you've got inferior mesenteric artery, which goes to your colon and some of your uh, other int intestines down here. Then you've also got these long skinny vessels right here. These are called gonadal arteries. The, the, these go to the gonads obviously, which would be the ovaries or the testes, depending on which sex you're in. So these long skinny vessels here are going to be your right and left gonadal arteries. Um, and again, you've got your renal arteries going out here to your kidneys. Let me make sure I hadn't missed anything here. All right, so that's it for what you need to know on the abdomen. Then you come down and your, your, your abdominal aorta breaks up into two large vessels here, and these are known as the right and left iliac arteries. So right side, obviously, right iliac artery. Left side is obviously the left iliac artery. And then those arteries go down to each leg. So once you leave the abdominal cavity, this iliac artery becomes what we call the femoral artery because that's the femoral portion of your leg. So you go from the abdominal aorta to the iliac artery and then to the femoral, femoral arteries on both sides. Um, we can look at this leg right here and one, when you're in this region right here between the abdominal cavity and the knee, that's going to all be femoral artery. But then when you get behind the knee here, we're going to call it the popliteal artery. And then it turns out that the popliteal artery, and it's not shown real well on these models, it splits into three vessels. So going to the front of your lower leg here, we're going to call that the anterior tibial artery. Going to the side of your leg over here, you're going to have a fibular artery, because remember this is the fibula, that bone right there that uh, runs up there. And then in the back, you have what's known as the posterior tibial artery. So you've got femoral arteries, popliteal arteries at the knee, and then you have anterior, posterior, and fibular arteries like that. Again, we're not going to learn all the vessels in the foot, so just be able to make sure you can identify and know these major groups that the arteries uh, break up into in the legs. All right, so that's it for the arteries. The veins are pretty much just the opposite. There's a few exceptions, but we'll start and do another video for those.